14C. Sam borrows $100,000 to be repaid at a reducible interest rate of 0.6% per month. Let A dollars be the amount owing at the end of N months and M dollars be the monthly repayment. Show that A2 equals 100,000, 1.006 squared minus M1 plus 1.006. You should have seen this sort of pattern before. There's a few other parts. We'll just do one at a time. Um, but this should be quite familiar to you. So we'll start off with A1, work your way to A2, and pretty much that's it. A part two actually goes on from this. So let's go. So at the end of month one, what's happened? Well, he's borrowed this much. And there's an interest rate of this happening onto the, onto the amount of money. So you've got this multiplied by 1.006. Now it's a bit of a giveaway that they've written the number there. You don't really have to think or do any calculations to try and transfer that into that. It's pretty obvious. So at the end of one month, you've got this amount of interest added onto it and you're subtracting some repayment. Okay? At the end of the second month, what happens? Well, you start with this and then the same thing happens. So instead of starting with this and taking off a repayment, you're going to start with this and take off a repayment. So you just write it straight underneath the same amount So that, this effectively, is that number. So then you've got that multiplied by 1.006 minus M. Okay? And the examiners want to see that. They want to see that you figured out that, okay, that becomes my new amount. Times it by that, take away another repayment. Then they, all you've got to do is just transfer this into that, which is fairly straightforward. You could just about do it in one step and just write that out. Uh, I think they'd probably prefer you to write an extra step. So you're doing this is this squared. So you've got 100, so equals 100,000. 1.006 squared there. And you've got this and this, so minus M. And yeah, I'd say you could just write it out because that's one there, so really you just need this step, I think, for your mark 1 plus 1.006. So you just rearrange this instead of that's times like 1, and then it's times 1.06, you just rearranged around that way. So I think that's all you need. Once you've got that and that, you're done. G'day again, back for part 2. So part 2, show that AN equals 100,000, 1.006 to the N, minus M brackets, 1.006 to the N minus 1 over 0.006. Now you should recognise this form as the sum of a geometric series. Okay? The only difference is instead of having uh, R minus 1 down here, you've actually got just the, uh, the rest of the rate. So I'm just want to note there that is R minus 1. The rest of it is pretty obvious. From here, I would just continue on, since you've written this in part one and I've left it up, I would continue on in my part two. So if this, if this was my exam paper, I'd be going part two, dot, dot, put a line and go from one above, just continue that down. So you've got A2, A3 equals, keep this pattern and just go 100, 1.006 cubed minus M1 plus 1.006 plus 1.006 squared and etc. down to A to the N equals 100,000 1.006 to the N dot 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 minus M1 plus 1.006 Six, plus one, um, I'd forget that, dot dot dot, plus 1.006 to the N, dot dot dot. Okay, so I would use that, continue it down to get my second part, and then the only thing you've got to do is translate this into that, which you can just about do identically, except down the bottom I'd just write 
R minus one, so 1.006 minus one down the bottom, and that's it. I would say that's all the examiners are looking for. So then that equals 100,000, 1.006 to the N minus, and you've got M, 1.006 to the N minus one over 1.006 minus one. So I think the examiners would look for that. This, just that little change there to show that you know it's the sum of an arithmetic series. So you've got A, you might even have to put a one there, or would you have to put a one? Because your sum of an arithmetic series is A R to the N minus one over R minus one. So you, I think they want a happen times A. So maybe you should write A equals one and R equals 1.006. So if you put that and that there, you're, you're telling the examiner you know what's going on. And then just, just change that in one more line. So you just write equals 100,000, 1.006 to the N minus M, 1.006. Minus 1.06 and you're done. G'day again, back for part three. Sam makes monthly repayments of $780. Show that after making 120 monthly repayments, the amount owing is 68,500 to the nearest $100. Well, this would be the easiest part of the question because it's just straight substitution. They've given you the formula and you just put these numbers into that equation press the buttons on your calculator and you're done. So let's do that. So we want 120, so that's our N. So we're gonna go A, 120 equals 100,000. Uh, multiplied by 1.06 to the 120 minus M. So we figured out M is, that's our 780. Multiplied by 1.06 to the 120 minus 1 all over 0 0.006. Punch that in your calculator and you end up with what have we got? 68 499.458, which is to the nearest hundred dollar, which equals that 68 500. And that's it, you're done. G'day again, part four. So this part is probably the most difficult part of the question. There's a lot of words in it. Immediately after making the 120th repayment, Sam makes a one-off payment, reducing the amount owing to 48,500. The interest rate and monthly repayment remain unchanged. After how many more months will the amount be completely repaid? You could just about wipe all of that question off and, and make a really simple sentence. Start again with 48,500, and that's all they'd need to say instead of all of this stuff. Okay, so start again with 48,500. So all you need to do from the formula we did, we used in part one, two, and three, change that number to 48,500 and go from there. So we want it completely repaid, so this is going to be zero. What you're going to do then is work this down. Use your logs and you'll solve it. So you've got this number subtracted this number, so you can just split those and make this equal to that to start with. So you get 48,500, 1.006 to the N equals 780. And we should split this up. So you've got 780, 1.006 the N. We'll split it up after the next line. So now you've got that. Multiply both sides by 0.006 to get rid of that off the bottom. So if you multiply this across here, you should get what? 780? No, 291. Get 291, 1.06 to the N equals. And now I'll split this up because that's now gone. Because we've multiplied it over there. So we get 780. 1.006 to the N minus 
780. Okay, we just want the end part, we want that together. So if we move these across here, or actually move that across there and move the 780 over here, so then it's 780 equals 780 take 291 is 489. All to the power of n, divide by 489. Okay, now you're going to use your logs. So take logs of both sides and divide by that. So once you take log of here, the n will come in front. So you get a log of 780 over 489 equals log of 1.006 to the power of n. Now you know in your log rules that power is going to go in front and therefore you're going to divide this on this side. So n will equal this log divided by that log, so log 780 over 489 divided by log 1.006. I've actually done that in the calculator before and you should get 78 point double, oh, whoops, double five months and you're done.